Hello everyone, uh, this is second part of my coursework where I am going to talk on introduction to classes and object. Okay, so this is the content of my talk, class concept, declaring how to declare a class, and create object, class membership and static variables, methods and method overloading, access modifier, constructor, enumeration, composition, nested class, all these topics I will be going little fast because I have limited time of recording. Uh, the classes in object in 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 java we can uh, in java everything is inside a class uh, class can consist of class declaration it can consist of class variable declaration constructor methods uh, general syntax is given over here before the class we specify the modifier then the class keyword and class name and then followed by we can have whether it is extending some class whether it is extending a class or implementing some interface and then the body wherein we have declaration of variables body and declaration of some methods, constructors, etc. Uh, declaring a class uh, begins with keywords class, entire is closed within and the entire thing after the class keyword and the name is enclosed within braces and class eligibility is defined just before the class name. Uh, uh, when we are not putting any visibility by default, visibility is uh, default visibility is public in Java sorry default visibility is private in java which makes class visible only to class in which uh, in the in the same package here is an example all these two all these two three classes are all private and the last one is made public that means the class my class main will be able to access other two class inside the same package when we go outside only the class my class main you will be visible then class membership uh, fields, method, constructors, all the class can contain order of the declaration does not matter in Java, uh, no forward references, referencing it is required unlike C and C++, the visibility of members depend on the class visibility as the modifier that we have used. Uh, variables in Java, of in Java we can declare within braces, inside a method, internal across the statement, it is uh, in as a method argument outside method but inside class java does not support global variables this is an important point to note down the first four types of variables are local variables and does not need any visibility modifier the last is called class level or instance level variable then we have this static variable unlike instant variables static variables are created only once for each other class and all the objects of the class share the same copy of the static variable uh, used to represent class wide information public static members are accessed by an object of the class or by the class name followed by charts and variable name private static members can be accessed only by method of the class they exist even when there is no object of the class exists and the scope is defined in this slide you can go through I will skip that method declaring it is very simple just like C++ it is same there is no much change and uh, then passing off argument par parameters to method it is there is no change same only just like C C plus plus I'm not concentrating on that then let us skip this return a statement remain same as in C C plus plus the method overloading in Java or in C C plus plus also method overloading concept remains same well, uh, just like C there is no much difference <coughs> so I stop here for this